Welcome back, everybody. Uh, welcome to match number two of week number seven of CCSW for Rainbow Six here. I'm, of course, Brimstone, and I've got Frazier, and I've got Rook here with me. What's up, guys? How do you enjoy that uh, that first round there? Was it good? Yeah, yeah super. That's great. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, so we are going to be moving into our match number two here. This is going to be Team Queen versus Penta Divina Victoria. It's going to be an interesting matchup, uh, given that Team Queen hasn't lost yet. They're coming off of a 7-0 victory, going up against Penta Divina Victoria, who's only won one match, and they're coming, unfortunately, off of an 0-7 loss from last week. Uh, although they've only had one win, you know, it, it's maybe not as bad as the numbers show. They, their round differential is only at a negative 16, considering they are 23-39. to 39. It's not like it's been a total blowout round-wise throughout the year, but, you know, they would like a few more wins on the season to show the work that they've put in here. Uh, Rook, do you have any any thoughts on this upcoming match here? Anything you wanted to add? I mean, it's going to be hard. I, if you could pick up a round or two here, even that looks pretty good. Even some of the best teams in the league in terms of North Sea Gaming have picked up like three rounds max uh, here. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to be hard, but at least try your best. I mean, you can learn from this. You can see how your strats can be countered and maybe try a couple of things. Um, learning is the key point of this. Um, or catching them off guard with something they weren't expecting. So if you're PDV, um, if you've prepped something epic, go for it. Just go absolutely in, um, mad and try and catch them in every situation. Test them in ways which they haven't been tested before. That's the end of the game. Yeah, definitely. I mean... <laughs> at least you can take away from it. This is a good opportunity, as you said, to learn. You're playing the best team in the league here. They're going to show you how it's done right. So the best thing you can do is come in with an open mind and pick up on that. Speaking of these teams, let's go ahead and we'll take a quick look at the rosters here. Of course, we have Team Queen. On their side, we've got Shishka, Mia, Shadow, Kitty, and Luna, all five big names there. And then we're going to go over against Penta Divina, and their roster consists of Tina, Connie, Issa, Tiffy, and Eva. Uh, great roster as well. You know, they've each at their moments had, had moment flashes of brilliance. They've been doing well themselves, uh, so nothing against them. It will be a tough match, though. And I think we're going to get right into the map bands here. If you guys wouldn't mind taking it away, we'll get into that. Yeah, we got me uh, mark that as soon as possible. All right, yeah, no, there you should be able to see it has come up now. So, I mean, uh, we could basically see quite a lot from uh, Team Queen. They are comfortable on so many maps. They played a wide variety of different ones uh, coming into this league. So it's down to PDV to try and narrow it down to the couple that they really want. Uh, and maybe they've been practicing specifically for this week. So yeah, we do see Concealer getting taken off alongside Villa. I mean, I, th I feel like Queen with uh, their very active roaming play style uh, would be very strong on Villa. So I'm not surprised to see that taken away. Bank going to be taken off too then by team queen and followed up with coastline sad to see that go we didn't get to see it in the game one either uh yeah you know i think it's a bit of a surprise there um i would have liked to see team queen play uh play coastline honestly i i want to see i want to see them play that again uh they've been very consistent with that we know that they are a they are a team that can just entry frag anything they can entry frag mm. any map give or take whoever they're playing against, to be frank. Uh, they absolutely can, and uh, we'll be going to Clubhouse, uh, where there's a lot of opportunities uh, to play a kind of variety of play styles. I, I, I'm looking towards the entry fragging, especially on the top floor, um, managing to uh, properly ban it, trick, etc. is going to be key on that defense, um, dealing uh, with that main big wall on the top floor. I, I mean, I'm also excited to see whether they'll be able to play, uh, whether um, Penta Divina Victoria have got a lot of practice uh, on this vertical play as well, because I mean that's what I really like um, about Clubhouse is it has many different aspects of play, aspects of play depending on which sites you're going to. So there's definitely a lot to play around with here, uh, and maybe um, Petit Divina Victoria will be able to will be able to find uh, a chink in Team Queen's armor. Yeah, I mean Team Queen themselves, they are so consistent with everything that they do. It's going to be interesting to see whether uh, Penta Divina Victoria are able to find a way around this. Uh, see if they're able to. Uh, find a way to get around how Team Queen are set up. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be able to manage it. Hopefully, they'll get a round or two or three or four. Hopefully, six or seven. Hopefully, they will indeed. And hopefully, we'll be getting into game in just a sec. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, I mean, 
realistically, Team Queen are very strong here. This is going to be difficult for them to beat in Victoria. Um, so, out of all their players that I'm looking for to potentially show up, I think I've been seeing Eva have some of those really pop-up plays, and uh, they're a player I at least want to watch going into this game. Yeah, I mean, being frank about it, um, Penta Divina Victoria, they've got some solid players. They, they've got some decent yeah. players. They just need to put themselves in that position where they can clutch. They need to work together as a team. They need to coordinate. They need to have a plan and stick to it. I think that's how they're going to uh, win some rounds against Team Cream. Yeah, and it's uh, David versus Goliath here. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll see a little bit of an upset, but it, it is going to be very difficult. And I mean, Matt, we, we were talking earlier, but Br Brimstone mentioned that uh, Pentavine and Victoria have picked up a decent number of rounds. Look, they're one, one and then five, but they've picked up 23 rounds to 39. You look at Hellside Esport, they're not that many off. They're 25 to 14. They picked up that extra game, um, et cetera. And it's, it's, it's good to see that they're still keeping things relatively close in a lot of these games that you lose. So they are able to put up a fight, and they seem like uh, potentially born challengers. Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things about Team Queen is the fact that they are all individual fraggers. Mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. If they need to, they can 1vx any day. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see whether uh, Divina Victoria are able to get around this. Um, I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it should be a fun match. It should be fun to watch. It'll be interesting uh, learning experience for all involved. Yeah, it's going to be... Of all the maps which we're going to, I think Clubhouse is a very big, broad skill test map. And I think... Of all the maps you could have gone to, not particularly great for Divina Victoria um, because it does have such a wide variety uh, that you have to be good at in order to succeed a load of times. And if, if you're looking to overthrow um, Team Queen, it's definitely not on general broad ability terms because there's a reason Team Queen have only dropped five rounds in this entire uh, tournament so far. It, you need to try and catch them off in one specific area. So I would have liked them to see, uh, to see them ban this away and potentially go for something a bit different. Uh, I mean, I would have, I would have preferred to see Painter, Davida Victoria play Border. Uh, being yeah. frank about it, I think they would have done a lot better on that Border balanced map, uh, even playing field, clubhouse defender sided against Team Queen. Nah, I, I, I don't like that. I mean, yeah, no, the betting odds are not particularly great in Davida Victoria favor, but I mean, we've seen upsets. Um, I believe in the NA division, we saw the. Uh, Last place team take it down the first place team. So, I mean, we could see that happen again. We do have uh, everyone pretty much in lobby. So we're just getting ready to go as soon as they are. And but yeah, uh, we're here for this game on Clubhouse. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I believe it will be Luna who's really going to show up here for Team Queen because I've seen them. They're a huge fragger. Luna, entry frag, she gets it done. Doesn't matter who she's playing, whether it's an Ash or if she's fragging on defense she gets it done indeed we're going to go straight into bands team queen with their first band as they are uh, on the orange side and just to see what they're going to ban whether we're going to be seeing something a bit spicy taken away uh, especially from davina victoria if they're looking to catch them off guard throw them off the balance what are they going to ban? i'd imagine team queen got to go for a general bounce Nothing too, nothing too surprised there. Maverick, decent ban, general ban, not a target ban. Davida Victoria, they should go for a target ban. If they want to win this, they should go target ban Steam Queen. And their first ban will be uh, the Lion here. So presumably that is. I mean, I've seen Team Queen use it a couple of times, but uh, it's not something that at least immediately comes to mind. I'm surprised by that. I like to be to be frank about it. I feel like uh, Team Queen they're such an aggressive team. You want to slow them down. Yeah. You want to slow them down. You want to waste their time as much as you can. A line ban could slow them down. It could force them to spend more time on room clearance potentially. Card ban fa fairly box standard really. You know, gets rid of uh, hard breach. Yep, pretty much what we're expecting. Um... The same ban a lot. Uh, and a Maestro ban uh, coming in from Team Queen. Talking about the generic power. There we see it taking off the board. Uh, I mean, so... What are, what are we expecting then uh, from Team Queen? What, what site are we looking, we looking at first, most likely? Uh, Team Queen probably got to play box standard. They got to go for basic, uh, top floor. Um, top floor, then basement. Simple. Uh, fairly standard lineup, nothing too 
interesting there, the fact that the Echo's been brought out. Not a surprise. You'd play an Echo if he's unbind. No reason not to. Yeah, no good reason not to. Toxic Heat will be picking that up. And uh, again, bog standard uh, attacking composition. Uh, they even move over to that IQ off of the Ash. And I think that's pretty sensible, um, especially with the Echo here alongside the Valkyrie, which is going to be the key part that uh, Connie should be able to deal with. Six pick Mera over to Castle. They probably didn't prepare to play with the Mera. Need to locate and Who, no, nobody nobody plans. No one strats for the Mera nowadays. I mean, yeah, because he just sees a ban all the time. Um, just teams agree to not use it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those where it's like you're wasting a lot of your time um, if you if you scrim with it, honestly, because you can't you can't alternative pick if you can't play the mirror, right? Uh, so. I do like this uh, castle though, I think it's pretty uh, sensible to take as it allows you to kind of partition off this area. Uh, so interested to see how that's going to work out for them. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of uh, intel being brought out for the, for the defenders. Uh, Bokri, Echo, should give them a lot of versatility in how they want to play this. Looks like Tina having an issue with the uh, default camera shooting that one out. Yeah, we'll manage to get rid of it. And I mean, yeah, denying all this information can be really key because you give a single piece of information over to Team Queen, they should be able to uh, pretty much just like just rock it, uh, take everything they possibly can off of it. You give them an arm, they'll take a like. This is uh, Team Queen. Is, uh, they, they're just pretty vicious as they uh, <laughs> constantly manage to uh, go great and um, aggressive for those kills and pick up every little thing they can. I mean, they've got the IQ on uh, Divina Victoria. They should be able to counter the Echo if they can get into the building. Uh, potentially even spawn out the Volkery cameras real quickly there. Indeed. I do like how they're playing the Echo. I like that. I like having it having it inside the garage. It's got a long line sight. Should be uh, fairly usable. Ooh. It will be. We will see the... Bandit trick not able to go down, unfortunately, for Shadow here. We'll open it up, and this is a good sign uh, for Penta, as they are looking for a way to set up on him. Yeah, I mean, that's a very quick entry onto that main wall. Tiffy shoot, uh, taking down uh, Mia. Also very good. Position device. It's a nice opportunity. They will be uh, trying to come on in. Connie, still waiting back. Doesn't want to push too aggressively. Almost gets taken out there, but the shots don't quite ring true. Luna will back off. Doesn't want to get caught out. As a, I mean, they are right on the edge of the site. Do you see that thermite as well? Opening up garage, but Toxic is still sitting here behind those half walls. Is going to be able to hold pretty darn well, honestly, with the ACOG. I'm honestly surprised how passive uh, Team Queen are playing right now. The, yeah, I, I would have expected I mean... them to play it. <laughs> There you go, there's your answer. I mean, Luna gets taken down though, so this is not too bad as Connie does manage to pick that up and is uh, potentially moving on into A here. Shadow is still trying to hold strong on this bandit. I feel they can't get too aggressive here for the peak, but they're on the left. They do get taken down. Connie finding a double kill here. Unfortunately, Tuskity will pick up a kill on the side. Now getting aggressive. Peek over the top, chumps on top of them. Connie on a bit of a tear right now. This could be exactly what they need. Chishka is now off site, still trying to hold it towards this wall. Will find the spray, but doesn't even find the kill onto that thermite. It's one versus two. Trying to close out this round. Shishka really needs to be able to clutch this up. They don't want to drop around. They take down the IQ, they get the execute, but there's the Claymore. And Davina Victoria pick up round one. That was an absolutely fantastic play there by Davina Victoria. They realized they had an opportunity when they got into got into sight. Try and go for a plant. Not need. Uh Claymore takes her down from that flank. That's fantastic play by them. And fantastic read by Davina Victoria. Connie, quick like lightning there, found that opening pick and went straight for it. Absolutely fantastic execute and managing to strike a blow uh, onto Team Queen early on here, taking the advantage. Yeah, it's fantastic to see. It's really good to see Davina Victoria taking the initiative, uh, making a, uh, a push like that. So aggressive, and it worked out for them. Good Defenders, on them. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused. Oh, I mean, I wonder if he'll see them manage to find those early picks again. 
Uh, this time we do see them on the basement uh, for Team Queen, so I think it'll be a bit harder. But, I mean, if Connie can find those couple of frags, if they manage to take control above uh, and utilize uh, Kitchen, it could again be a situation where they manage to snowball the fight from there um, and just completely take control of this game. I have to be honest, I'm, I would be really intimidated playing against uh, Shadow and Luna both with SA Shotgun and SMG 11. It's a fantastic combo. It uh, will do a lot of damage. And uh, Team Queen, they're a bunch of fraggers. They know how to use weapons in this game and they will get kills if, you, if they give themselves the opportunity. The point is, you don't let them have it. You take them out, win the duels like Connie's doing potentially. I mean, if you're winning duels against Team Queen, you're feeling pretty good. I mean, they have some really solid play, uh, but I think there's other teams in the league who are on a similar level. It's just when it comes down to that fragging, when it's especially the entry fragging, which is a really important part for them, um, they are often um, a, a cut above the re rest. But Connie's showing it's not just them who you should be afraid of. That round must be such a confidence booster uh, for the video Victoria saying, hey, we can do this. We just need to work together, get it done. Um, I imagine it might even give our Team Queen a bit of an opportunity to take it slow and say, hey, we need to take our time here. Yeah, it's a bit of a wake-up call. I mean, uh, if they take this early round, obviously they've got to take a couple more to win the game, but uh, definitely an early shock to the system uh, for Team Queen. It's going to be definitely interesting. Bit of a slower push here by Divina Victoria, but it's entirely fair enough. They've got an advantage right now. They want to keep it. Um, I like the fact that they are now playing downstairs in basement rather than upstairs again. They realize, hey, this isn't working out. Let's try something else. It's a good adaptation by Team Kuhn. Yeah, they definitely want to pick up these couple of free rounds. Trying to set up a couple of situations i mean they still have a lot of vision um they have the smoke as well so this game if this round goes late they're feeling pretty happy now starting to try and put pressure on utilizing the uh, above floor as tina is going to get that exothermic charge most likely off there's going to be an impact going right towards it if they're not careful Mia. i don't think that's gonna hurt it no i don't think it is as well I, I, it's, central. It's in the center yeah yeah I really like how the defenders are doing this. So they've got the the the, the view jammers, they've got the bandit, and they've also got the impact tricks. Oh! Fantastic work by Mia. That's what you like to see. Fantastic play from Team Queen, showing that they can get off these neat little tricks. Tiffy starting to move on in. They're very close to the wall. Connie finding the opening pick yet again, committing regicide. Tiffy on the map. Luna very careful though, as Connie is starting to try and put a pinch on. Shadow is making sure they're not getting too aggressive and towards the wall. Luna getting flashed out, still holding strong in this room, not pulling the trigger prematurely. Connie is right on up there. It's like we're watching a brand new Divina Victoria. They know what they want to do and they're getting it done. They're 3v1. I, I, fantastic play by them. Yeah, I mean, they are dismantling Team Queen so far. This is exactly what you want to see. I mean, this is bringing some spice in. Team Queen, until this point, had lost five rounds, and they've just lost two in a pretty darn quick succession. Divina Victoria really showing up here. I feel like we've got a fantastic match going on here. Like, this this is exactly what we want to see. Fantastic players, incredible match. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I mean, lightning strikes twice for Divina Victoria. This is exactly what we want to see. Connie opening up the game yet again. Fantastic. And the marquee player right now for Penta Divina Victoria. All eyes on her to take control of this game. I mean, my question here, what is going wrong for Team Queen? What are they doing uh, differently this week that, that, that it's not working out for them? You know, like... It's, it's as if they're playing a lot more passively. They, they're not as sure as themselves. Yeah, and, and that's not what we expect from Team Queen. I mean, their belief in themselves should be pretty darn high. They've won so many rounds and lost very few. I mean, what, you need to be able to take that uh, as a sign that you can. what you're doing is working and you need to go back to that old stuff. Maybe they're just getting stimmied out um, by the the way that uh, Divina Victoria are preparing, but... I mean, nothing stands out to me as particularly 
surprising from what they're doing. They're doing pretty standard stuff and just really making it work. I mean, Team Queen rather convincingly won Cafe 7-0 last, last week. 7-0. The fact that they're able to do that and yet right now, they're losing 2-0. How? I, I mean, as well, the most important thing is this is a team, uh, Penta Divina Victoria, who are right at the bottom of the standings. They are second at last, and they're really bringing it here. So, I mean, this could be a watershed moment in the league uh, if Team Queen are just falling apart to a low level team. Well, sorry, low standings team. Certainly not low level after what we've seen from them. They've really turned up a notch. I am incredibly impressed by how Divina Victoria are handling this. They know what they're doing. And it's, it's great. Um, I feel like this is definitely going to slow Team Queen down. They're going to say, hey, what are we doing right now? How are we losing this? We shouldn't be losing these fights like we are. We should be winning these gunfights. And Connie's in the same position as we saw in round one. Queen should be ready for it this time. Shishka does back off, doesn't want to get caught out. But Luna's still holding this angle towards the bomb. Connie trying to get a little bit more information for their team as the Thatcher should be trying to set up here. I'd be a little worried, Davina Victoria, doing the same strat again. Um, a bomb has been located. Fantastic bandit trick, and by Shadow, that just, it works. She knows what she's doing. So that's at least one exothermic charge down. Connie going down. This could be what Queen need, but there's the other bandit trick. That's exactly what you need to see from Team Queen, really turning it up electricity to secure a pretty big advantage them early on into this round. Tox Kitty holding very aggressively here, even from that position. Again, we're seeing a lack of vertical control being played by Davina Victoria. Uh, you could potentially play a buck underneath. Um, so it's a bit surprised that they're not doing that. And they're not using the uh, Zofia for it, which they could have potentially been doing. Uh, instead, uh, they've already run out of all their utility and uh, Suddenly a Claymore left. Tiffy going to really struggle to make a move up the stairs as well because there is uh, the castle, uh, Shishka, waiting above. And with Mia sitting in these positions alongside the angle being held by Toxic Kitty, this is really, really good for Team Queen. Looking like they're going to try and close out this game pretty darn strong. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic placement by Team Queen. They're playing a lot more aggressively and they're holding on to positions. They're holding on to garage the entire game. Shishka wins the duel. It's only Issa now. Does have the diffuser, so not actually going to be able to win this round. And doesn't even get the frag onto Shadow there. Team Queen win round three. Finally putting all one on the board. Not words I thought I'd be saying for Team Queen. I'm surprised by that. I feel like actually Davida Victoria, they, they struggled to drone out. Like even simple things such yeah. as the, the echo peaking from garage on the rafter down into um, outside stock. Should have been droned out, but it didn't. Thumb I died. Why? You know. I mean, yeah, and it, that was a pretty simple mistake. Something which we didn't expect from them after those first two rounds. Perhaps a little bit quick to talk, but hopefully they'll shut us up in just a second. Connie getting picked early that I do feel like was a key part of Queen's defense. They took down Connie, uh, and from that, I mean, it was it was difficult to uh, make that attack because they are the key opening frag, and without them, the composition doesn't really work. Shishka picking up a slack a little bit there for Team Queen, uh, and they're currently top fragging Attack for her team. That's good to see. Um, I'm surprised Luna is uh, playing uh, a bit more passively than usual. Usually she'd be top fragging by a fair margin. Um, it's quite interesting to see. For sure. I mean, I do like um, this mozzie as well coming out. Uh, I, I think trying to stimmy this droning we were talking about early, earlier and, and why they lost round two. That's exactly what you want to be able to do. Yeah, I mean, Mozzie is fantastic for that. He's a fantastic operator. He's got two great primary weapons. He's got a secondary shotgun uh, for, you know, site reconstruction. He's got a... Uh, Intel Denial, Intel Gathering, there's no reason not to bring him. Yeah, I mean, is he going to get this reinforced? I, that is a very key reinforce, so he's actually going to be able to get that down. I was wondering for a second there what they're going to be doing there, but we'll be able to get that down. There. And now, whether we'll be able to see the impact tricks, I think, are also a very important thing, because uh, we saw some fantastic play from there. 
denying the initial entry, even though things went south, it was some good play from Team Queen. I imagine we'll probably see Shishka doing that. Uh, in some form of capacity, she should be contesting that. 100%, that should be her role. And it's going to be difficult to get through some of those uh, patches and uh, all those Bomb walls, which are always uh, so important in the game. Oh, the Twitch, but unfortunately, does get spotted out by Connie there. <laughs> That's very unfortunate for Mozzie to lose that Twitch drone so early into the round. But as well, so unfortunate for the Twitch to lose one of her own drones uh, to that Mozzie. It's a bit careless. It sh shouldn't have happened. Know. Now, uh, we actually see Mia very, very far up. I mean, there's only two players on that basement floor. I really like this more aggressive, uh, more spontaneous Team Queen that we're seeing. That's exactly what I want from them. That's the Team Queen we're used to seeing. Yeah, I mean, Team Queen are well known for just get, like, they, they'll find an angle and they'll sit there, they'll hold it, they'll get a kill, and then they'll push back towards site, get another kill, get into site, and hold it. That's that's how Team Queen operate. They get kills and they stay alive. First blood goes over to Vina Victoria. Could be pretty important as they do open up this bottom area. There's only one player on site. It's Shishka uh, is going to be able to intercept them, at least initially here. Connie is running right on in. Doesn't even get spotted out. Finds the kill onto Toxicity. They've got control of site. Shishka does manage to find a frag onto Eva, though. And that is key. Unfortunately, looking the wrong direction as Connie picks them up again. And this is Davina Victoria with control of the site. They didn't even go to kitchen here. They just went right on in and picked apart Team Queen's defense. I do not understand how Team Queen are allowing this to happen. It does not make sense. It really makes no sense at all. Mia is the last remaining member. Is about to get pinched and it, this is not looking good for them. Looks away at the worst opportunity and goes down Davina Victoria, picking up round three. They are now tied with the second team in the league in terms of rounds taken off of Team Queen, and they don't show any signs of stopping it. Team Queen are having a bad day. I, there, there's no other way to put it. They are having a bad day. They are 3-1 currently in favor of Davina Victoria. It's, it's insane to watch. I, it's a nightmare for them. This is not what they came into today suspect, expecting. They came in today thinking, ah, we're going to get a second last place team in the league. We can take it easy. We'll be fine. And suddenly, shock to the system. You've lost three rounds and you've got a two round deficit. That ain't looking good. <laughs> now, bearing in mind, I'm probably going to shock a couple of people with this uh, analysis here. A Clubhouse a is a defender sided map. Especially with Maverick Band, yeah. How are you losing this? I don't understand. I don't understand how you're losing this right now. And yet, we're round, round five, three, one. Attackers are winning. I don't know what I can say. I mean, <laughs> impressive to say the least. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna if be I, going back to basement though. If I would be, if I'm Davina Victoria right now, I'd be happy. Even if we lose this right now, I'd be happy. We won three rounds against the best team, arguably the best team in CCSW. I mean, uh, you're being too satisfied with this. You gotta take the game now. Like, I wouldn't be happy with this. Like, I take two take two rounds in a row, lose one, looking a bit shaky, but strike back with that third. You gotta be high on it right now. Uh, and they really need to take this momentum and just blow Team Queen apart. You do not want to lose this game if you don't have to. You'll be the only team to take it. And that really is exactly what you want to see. Because sure, this season, you might not be able to make the playoffs. But, looking at the next season, it's all in your ballpark. How satisfied must you be right now, if you're Connie, and you're looking at this and saying, hey, we're winning this, we're doing this, against Team Queen, a team renowned for their their accuracy, their, their frags, and being such a menace, such a, a, a terror in this game, in this, in, this, in this league. I mean, we're seeing them lose a lot of these duels, so uh, that's the impressive part, is, we're actually seeing uh, Penta Divina Victoria find those frags where normally, if you take a 1v1, I expect the Team Queen player to win every day, but the script is being flipped right here, as Divina Victoria have been the one finding most of those fight wins. I'm enjoying this. I, I, I am thoroughly you. enjoying this. If, if I was Team Queen right now, I'd be, I'd be embarrassed. 
I'm not gonna lie. I'd be, I'd be boss. <laughs> So I like the aggressive pushes here by Davina. They're, they're realizing it's working. They're getting it done. I am surprised that they're not being challenged as much anymore. That this isn't the team queen we're used to playing. No, it's not. I, I, and I like the uh, Davina Penta Davina Victoria didn't come into this running scared. They were prepared to go the distance, and it's really paying off for them. You saw, we'll manage to get on in dealing with a bunch of those uh, big important cameras and means they can try and sneak things in. And I mean, when Connie's gotten the drop on them, it's been all Connie. I mean, this must feel like a Disney film right now for the Vena Victoria. They are, they are absolutely performing uh, far above any anybody's expectations right now, especially ours. Nice little peek out there by uh, Luna though. Um, down into oil pit. Unfortunately, I didn't land any shots. Yeah, it's going to be Tina looking for this, but doesn't quite find the shots onto that. Finally takes down Toxic Toxicity, and Penta the Victoria again with a two-player advantage. Takes down Shishka as well, and this is now not just Connie who's showing up. Everyone is on. A flawless round from Davina Victoria in round five. Four, two, one. Are we watching the same game right now? Are we watching the same Team Queen? How are they? How is Davina Victoria doing this round after round? Like, it's it's insane. It absolutely is. And, <laughs> I mean, they're looking on track. They only need to win three more rounds uh, against uh, Team Queen here. Granted, that's as many rounds as some teams have won. Uh, in fact, the, the other teams have won. They've already beaten the score. They're throwing out the script. This is exactly the kind of play that we're seeing from even lower level teams in terms of um, placings show up, show that they've learned things, and they come back week after week, dedicating their time, and it's all coming together. That's It's such a great story. Now, bearing in mind, we've only got one or two more rounds left until the Vina Victoria defend on a defender-sided map. They're winning attack. Imagine what they could do in defense. Yeah. <laughs> when we were looking at the map lines, I initially said, yeah. hey, they should be playing border. It's a balanced map. I feel like they'd have a better opportunity. I take that back. I eat my words. I mean, I was only expecting to take one, maybe two rounds if they took any at all. But starting off with this advantage is, is very impressive. And I, yeah. This is exactly what we want to see uh, from Vina Victoria, because now, I mean, this, this blows things wide open as well in terms of who can get first. Um, if we see Team Queen lose early, lose to um, Penta Vina Victoria, that means everyone is then 6 no. The issue is, is I think they have to lose another match in order for that to actually matter, uh, because otherwise they have such a great um, round differential that it doesn't really... Uh, matter too much to the others yeah yeah i'd agree with that i really yeah. like how aggressive divina victoria are right now they've they've just got it they're getting it done they are certainly sorry um in advance sorry well obviously not in advance you're hearing it right now about the jammer bug we are trying to get it sorted as soon as possible um so we should be able to get that sorted in just a second but you will have to unfortunately grin and bear it uh, for just a period of time here. And I mean, again, we've got Davina Victoria trying to set up for this. Hopefully they'll be able to actually blow through this door this time. It didn't actually work out particularly well for them uh, so far. And Connie getting caught out, eating a lot of shots from that player up in Garage. Unfortunately, just walks right on into it. And Mia picks up that first kill for the team. And a very important one too, because Connie is that big player. That's the exact same position and exact same angle that uh, the farm I died last, last round. I, I don't understand how that wasn't joined out, unfortunately. Bit of a shame, but... He's uh, on the angle, but unfortunately, Toxicity with that piece of advantage does manage to take her down. Now we see the glove being open, but they're actually just going to rotate on out where they can. Toxicity still waiting at the back here. Not actually playing upstairs, where we've seen them most of the game. Victoria do have this wall, main wall open though, so they should be able to push in from the eastern sub roof, uh, making sure that no one's going to push progressively. As Tippy is continuing to pry 
pile the pressure onto the garage area. Now, I hate to say this, but I do get the impression that Team Queen might have woken up here. Seems to. Uh, I mean, we have thought that in round two, uh, sorry, round three as well, but we saw them lose round four straight away in, in a flawless manner. I mean, currently, you know, 3v5, it's still possible. It's definitely still possible for the Vida Victoria. Obviously, we want them to uh, perform as well as they can. But uh, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, unfortunately, they're hemorrhaging members left and right, trying to make that peak on in. Luna picks up a double kill, and the final member goes down. Team Queen taking round six, so it is four to two. Yeah, we we are just going to have a quick rehost, so we can get rid of that jammer bug. So uh, no worries on that part. Uh, we're just going to do it in half time while everyone's kind of like you know ready to go and on for. So half time analysis. I'm going to ask you. Who do you think is gonna win? You know, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat my words. I'm gonna say I really want the Vina Victoria to win, but I mean, I, yeah. I I think that Team Queen are gonna fall back. I I think that they have the potential to do so. We know that they can. I mean, it's definitely true. There's definitely a, an opportunity for Team Queen to bake back. I would never count them out. Yep. They are the queens of CCS um, women's right now. I mean. They definitely have the fragging power. They have the know-how. They need to just put it into action. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go against you. I fully believe in Penta to be in Victoria. Maybe your casters curse them, but with strong rounds like that, they're going into the more favored side now. I mean, it's it's all lining up for them to just you know pop the black and finish it. So I mean, do you feel like our uh, team Kuna are gonna perform better on uh, attack, or do you feel like they're they're just gonna get? Uh, kind of worse results now. Now that again, moving on to attack on defender sided map, one of the most notoriously defender sided map. I mean, that's the thing, right? Is I look at it and go, yeah. I mean, it, the thing is, when you change up what side you're playing, sometimes that's the most important thing. It's a change in mindset. And Team Queen, I think, are a fantastic attacking team. I've seen a lot of teams who would do pray for that attacking side, but Team Queen in particular so great at using that aggression, using the information to um, inform the way they play. Um, I, I think there's definitely a real possibility of us swapping over and Pinta to Vina Victoria can't hold a candle anymore. Um, but with the way they've been playing, they've been playing disciplined um, and they've actually been playing all as a team. It's not just been one player finding all those frags. So there's definitely a real chance of them holding this strong and taking the map. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a... Let me just jump in here for a moment. Uh, you know, we, we talked about this even before the match. Like, when we're going through the rosters here, we're looking at Penta Divina Victoria's mm -hmm. roster saying, this, this is a good roster. And we're talking about the round differential being really not all that bad. It, it, there's part of you that is surprised, but then there's part of you that's kind of thinking, yeah, maybe we kind of, we saw this coming. They, they actually, if you go back to their statistics earlier on in the season, their matches were pretty close. And I think uh, they were the team that before the season and the, the stat line started kind of showing themselves and, you know, the, the standings kind of getting ironed out. I don't think they were a team that you would have pegged to have seen at the bottom necessarily. Oh, for sure. And, and they're showing right now that, you know, all those flashes of brilliance that we saw before, now it's coming together. All of them, Connie especially, you know, they're they're really showing what the team's made of. I mean, yeah, and this bodes really well. Maybe not for the, again, I was talking about maybe not for this season, but looking towards the next one, looking towards basically um, any other situation. Once they've had that little bit more time, once they're no longer shackled by a one and five record, they really can show up. And, and, and these flashes of brilliance, brilliance are exactly what I want to talk about because it shows you the potential of a team, the potential of uh, Divina Victoria, is off the charts. Now, as far as I'm aware, we haven't seen Davina Victoria play like this before. We haven't seen them just perform round after round of just pure magnificence from an attacker standpoint. Um, yes, we've seen them perform very well, especially on defense. Um, however, we, we just, it's, it's like we're watching a team that have just memorized what they want to do. And they're fragging out, and they're getting it done. Now, do, do you think, uh, although we've talked about how this is 
a defender sided map. This is we know it's clubhouse. This is expected. Yeah. Normally it's defender sided. And as you were saying, they're flipping the script right now. Do, do you worry that potentially things are going to turn around here and a team like Team Queen is going to go, no, if they're going to do it to us, we're going to do it to them. And you'll maybe see a big pushback on offense from Team Queen. Oh, yeah, that is a real see, oh. If you want to quickly touch on that uh, and respond, but we are going right into the game. I'll talk to you boys soon. Yeah, no, I, I, there is an, 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 a part of that. We did chat about how... Uh, I still think P Penta Devi and Victoria can win this, but there is that um, that part of now you swap things over, things can change, and that change of mindset I think is very important. I, I, I think it's up in the air as to who can still win this. I would never count Team Queen out, but Penta Devi and Victoria with this momentum, I do believe are going to take it um, as we do get back in the game, as you say. Uh, and we're going to see uh, now how Team Queen are going to uh, try and translate uh, onto attack. I would be more scared of the Team Queen on defense, and uh, sorry, correction, uh, on attack than I would yeah. be on defense. They they play. It's a lot easier to frag out on attack a lot of the time because you're the one initiating that contact, initiating that aggression. Hopefully, that will translate through to some more uh, when uh, more rounds, one for uh, Team Queen. Yeah, for sure. But I, I mean, as much as you have to kind of give them the respect, because obviously they're the best team in the league, they've got this stuff going on, they've really got an attack, you can't just give them stuff for free. I think Penta Divina Victoria have the right mindset. They're not letting them get away with anything that they really shouldn't be, um, where you see with a lot of other teams, like, you, you immediately give them the respect because they're strong. No, they need to earn that from Divina Victoria, and I think that's why um, I've been really impressed with what they've been able to do. Yeah, I mean, Davina Victoria, they've got a smart lineup. It makes sense. I like the six pick over for them, uh, from Frost over to if you've gone back. Psychological warfare. If I saw that the other team potentially had a Frost, every time I jump through a window, I'm going to be locking down. I'm not going to be locking forward. It's going to put um, that additional pressure at the back of my mind. It is. We do manage to Defenders get on in, luckily. Oh, who is stuck a little bit there in the loading screen. Uh, Managed to get out of that scot free uh, by yourself, of course. But um, you have now Penta Divina down in the basement. I'm excited to see how they're going to play this. I would imagine they'll probably go for a, a more passive, more uh, structured defense. I imagine they probably want to maintain, uh, you know, the the advantage uh, in terms of points. Uh, I doubt that they will play aggressively. I don't think that that's really in their nature at the minute. I feel like they'll probably take what they can get. You know? I mean, yeah, no. Um, focusing on something we were talking about operator picks before uh, and to do with droning, and I think that's also a linchpin of Team Queen's playstyle is uh, drone straight up, get very aggressive as soon as you have the information. I think this Mozzie and the Mute at the same time going to be really key in the way that uh, Divina Victoria are going to be able to stop them if they do. Uh, so I do like to see those both in conjunction. Yeah, generally speaking, during uh, Team Queen's attacks, they'll generally have one person droning and another person uh, right behind as a hot drone. Um, so imagine having that mozzie to counter that should be uh, quite effective for uh, Davida Victoria. It will be. Uh, Mia on this, Sophia. And going to be trying to make sure no one comes up those stairs for something kind of aggressive, but it's unlikely we're going to see that anyway. As, uh, they're also making sure there's no one up in this top floor. Uh, waiting as Luna's going to open up these hatches as soon as they possibly can. They're playing slow. Uh, I, I, it's, it's fairly noticeable here. Uh, Team Queen, they're taking their time. They're making sure that there's nobody locking around. Got a banner on a reverse repellent kitchen. That's smart. And it's they're taking their time. Yeah, time's going to be uh, of the essence, though. They are going to be able to take control of the kitchen, which is something we didn't actually see from Penta Divina Victoria in some of their attacks. So, uh, Surprise, happy to see them go back to this pretty standard one. But an early pick here for Divina Victoria is important. So it doesn't appear that uh, Team Queen focused on any form of room control upstairs or room clearance upstairs at first. Uh, Jaeger, Connie doing our best holding up inside of cash. Shadow shuts that down fairly quickly there, no problem. But Hor leaving it in a 4v4. We're going to see, um, kind of set on up, getting these drones on in. We were talking about this earlier. Now they're moving into position. 
do see Shishka relatively far back though. Wants to be careful. I am honestly surprised at how passive Team Queen are. I, it's just, it's like I've watched a different team every other week. And now we're looking at this now and they're like, they're not doing what we, what we expect. And it's not working out for them. It's working out for Davina Victoria. Indeed. I mean, trying to take control of this uh, is exactly what we want to do. It is an advantage for Team Queen. Whether they're going to be able to utilize it properly is the other part of that. You see them go down to a C4, so that's a nice pick. For Davina Victoria as they are looking to try and hold this out. There's only 25 seconds left on the clock. Shadow's trying to get that spray on through. Does find it onto Issa, but there's the refrag. That's exactly what I want to see. Tiffy gonna go down though. This is starting to get hot action right here. Eva sitting at the back, but unfortunately gets picked off. And Team Queen taking it down to the wire do manage to close out that first attacking round themselves, which is so important. They're able to secure those kills and it just gave them such an advantage. Being able to make those moves there, especially towards the, the late game where they uh, ended up pushing down the main, main staircase into uh, Motor. Fantastic play. Uh, unfortunate for, for uh, Davina Victoria, but you know, 4-3, they just got the advantage. Going back down there again. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're seeing an alibi potentially come out here uh, for Tina. I'm wondering if they're going six, to six pick, six pick off of that. Uh, they are going to be doing that. <laughs> Uh, over to the Jaeger. I mean, the Jaeger makes a lot more sense, obviously, being able to get rid of a lot of those uh, grenades uh, and utility uh, is key. Yeah, I mean, it's a fairly short pick that Shadow will be playing Buck, and it won't be a six pick. Shadow really okay, enjoying Buck, the C8, and wow. the frag grenades. Jaeger ADS makes sense, logical pick. Uh, I don't know why you would have a defense without Jaeger, uh, unless he was specifically banned out. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see them go back to the basement where we saw Team Queen try and alternate between, see what they could get, uh, whether it was just they had a really well prepped uh, one site. Uh, but Divina Victoria, not feeling like that's the case. And uh, it felt pretty comfortable because they, they got pretty close to taking that round. So uh, unsurprising uh, that they're going back here. Yeah, I mean, definitely looks like Divina Victoria, they are trying to stick with their uh, strategy, they're trying to stick with what works. And hopefully it's going to work out this time. Uh, hopefully they're going to learn a little bit more from the last round and maybe play a bit more, um, a bit more aware of their surroundings. Mm -hmm. Sticking to their guns. I mean, that's what both of these teams do. <laughs> We've seen actually some uh, really nice angels uh, in general. So impressive from Pedro Victoria to find those wins over Team Queen. They need to be able to do it on the defense as well. As uh, oftentimes uh, they're just refragging here. So and, and as key as that is to a team. You need to be able to find those initial picks, and that's what Connie has really been for them, uh, as they have tried to take control of these games early on. Yeah, I mean, statistically speaking, Team Queen, they've got uh, more fraggers on their team, they've got better, or uh, I should say, they've got um, fraggers with a higher KD and higher overall um, kind of success rate, I guess you could say. But uh, Divina Victoria, they're giving it right back to them. Absolutely not. They're just setting themselves up to... Uh... Get rid of uh, some of the kind of hindrances to them and trying to attack onto this B site. Opening up now puts Issa in a very dangerous position, but is actually holding that window, expecting that be to be where the Pinata comes from. However, Connie is pushing it through construction. I know it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of an interesting move there by Issa to try and hold that angle, especially when you had somebody on a reverse repel. It's incredibly hard to fight against reverse repel from underneath. It's. Just such, a, just such a hindrance. It is. Luna is now going to move it down. Maybe trying to set up some opportunities to open up some more reinforced walls. Shadow, though, is going to be the one who is key here. He is going to open up all this information here. Issa, though, knows exactly where she is. C4 yeah, just comes unluckily. Out. Unlucky they are for the, uh, the defenders. Connie, though, is the one to find that first pick, takes it down Mia, sitting in construction here as Shishka attempts to move on forward. Going to stim themselves up. Luna finds Tina, which is a nice pick. Shishka going to use this opportunity, though, to move on forward. Team Queen is starting to heat it up in terms of kills. You need to be very careful. You've got your back turned here, and unfortunately, it's not the situation you want to be in. And now Shishka catches out Donnie. It's two versus four for Pentadivina Victoria. Luna makes it one versus four, and Tiffy. You're caught out. Oh. As if you could end that any other way. Lunar 
as if she's just woken up, she's realised, hey, I can frag this out, we can win this. Fantastic grind by then, that was great coordination. I'm surprised Connie didn't uh, didn't hear out the Thermite down there and said that. Uh, an interesting, interesting move there. I mean, they really should have expected it. Normally you move in groups of two down the construction, so... Uh... Bit of a mistake to not expect that thermite but instead uh, trying to focus on uh, all, all the kind of ruckus that was happening behind them because everything was kind of falling apart on site that's the thing uh for pentadina victoria there on that ba um basement it wasn't all coming together at all and now the scores are even stevens so pentadina victoria yeah. unable to pick up anything on this defense so far i would definitely still place my bets on team queen i think okay, they've been the most consistent team by far robbed. throughout the entire league uh, at least for you, um, and it looks like they're slowly waking up. They're slowly uh, learning from their mistakes, and they're adapting to the situation at hand. It's good to see, but at the same time, it's unfortunate for Davina Victoria. Certainly is. Davina Victoria need to return to that form that we saw from them in the first half. If they're going to win this, really get those frags, win those angels, and. Uh, Set up Connie for success. I think that's going to be the key part as we go to the second floor here. But I think it's going to be much harder on uh, the defense. That's the thing. It's more spread out evenly across the team. And that's why I was excited for them. Uh, it looks like, unfortunately, the linchpin here is Connie. And it's um, not working quite as well as it was on the offense. So, I mean, generally speaking, CCTV, Cash CCTV is the strongest site um, mm -hmm. on Clubhouse. It makes sense that they would want to go back there as soon as possible. I like how Luna is setting this up, getting the line of sight directly onto the window. Makes sense, logical. They're getting it done, A, B, C, D. Yeah. I mean, methodical is definitely uh, Team Queen. They have been doing that pretty darn well. We're going to see Mia trying to put a little bit of a concussion there, so he can't bandit trick. Tina, though, will be able to do it. They don't land it. And, uh, well, that's going to be the bandit trick yet again. This time from Penta Davina. So that is very good for the Vena Victoria. Um, Shishka still has at least one X carrier. She could potentially try and um, use it later on if the bandit's gone away. Do you see Shadow trying to get that frag, but it's Connie who goes down to Luna here. As Luna just rocks on in. And at the long ranges, even here, Luna manages to find the kills onto Tina and just finding these frags. This is the entry frag we were talking up. We were all excited to see Luna taking the mantle from Connie and saying, nah, don't worry. You can rest. It's all on me now. See, this is the Luna we expect. This is the Luna we're terrified of. We have nightmares about um, if you are on the opposing team. Yeah, two versus five. Eva too far back. The diffuser will get planted and there's so little you can do now. Expecting someone to rotate up aggressively, but they just can't move forward. There are so many angles being held. The peak comes up from Luna, picks up a triple. He's looking for that fourth. Oh. Will we be able to pick it up? 4K and a flawless round for Team Queen. That was just fantastic. Even when they had such an advantage in terms of manpower, or uh, sorry, in, in this case, I should say, uh, Lady Power, they still get the plan down. They still get it done. They still stick by, hey, this is TDM bomb. Let's get the diffuser down and take it from there. They focus on post plan and it worked. Yeah, that lack of greed is very important. Working together as a team, as you were saying, we were praising the video Victoria for that before, but it seems the shoe is on the other foot now. As uh, in this half, Luna with a big seven frags. Yeah, I mean, I guess at this point it would be the important question of how come Davina and Victoria were able to pick up such an advantage uh, early on in this game. Was it because they were doing things right or because Team Q were doing things wrong? And as many bombs as they can. You know, potentially it's combination of the two. Yeah, yeah this is the most rounds uh, that Queen has lost uh, to any team in this season. So uh, re regardless of how Pentadivina do here, um, they have made a record of sorts. I mean, it's a bit of a depressing record though, isn't it? <laughs> um, no team able to take more than four rounds uh, if this is where it ends. And I mean, we, it's sad to see Davina Victoria um, not able to pick up a defensive round so far because it is a defensive side of map. And we did see some great play from them, but it's just not coming together. And I, I, I do agree with you. Team Queen have turned on now. 
and it's going to be very difficult to stop them. It's going to take something um, yeah, very special. And, and I do believe in Pentavine and Victoria have it in them, but they're going to need to find it. You know, I definitely think that Team Kuna are going to pull us through and they are going to win it, but it's a question of how many rounds can the Vina Victoria take from this. I think they can still manage another couple of rounds. I think that they still have that potential. They do have the potential, but unfortunately it's been squandered in this second half. Shall we? He's going to be looking. Seeing if anyone's sitting here in Garage. Luna finding these opening frags yet again. And it's just getting away with literal murder here. I, uh, th again, th this, uh, this is this is what you come to expect from watching Team Queen. <laughs> and it looks like the bandit's actually killed by the exothermic charge trying to bandit trick. Doesn't work out this time, unfortunately. Sad to see Team Queen taking the advantage very quickly yet again. Now have that wall open as well. We start to pressure. We see some rotates coming back to site, but it's two of versus five, and no damage so far onto Team Queen. So, not a great situation to be in. Connie will get themselves detected and doesn't even find anything for it. Eva tries to find that but loses the Angel. Connie's going to be the last remaining member. Finds some damage at the very least, but not much more than that. Going to try and make the run out. Get the spray down. Doesn't even find anything as Eva is executed. And now trapped with five hungry Team Queen members running towards her. Team Queen close out round 10 again in a dominating fashion. Akin to round nine. You know, I can just see the Reddit comments coming from us saying that our uh, Team Queen were just saving strats to the first half of this game. Uh, doesn't appear to be paying out uh, to where else they swap back to their usual form of aggression and murder. Crown match point now. Yep, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty brutal to see Team Queen taking those rounds in pretty quick succession and what seems like a blur um, as team, sorry, as Penta Divina Victoria don't really seem to be able to hold a candle uh, in this half. Uh, defense not seeming to suit them. I'm not going to lie. I look at Lunar and I just imagine Kanta smiling. I just think that he would be <laughs> so impressed with her performance today. I mean, it's, she has been doing incredibly well despite um, the slow start for this game. Uh, yeah. She has performed incredibly well, uh, as has you know, every every player on both teams. But specifically Luna, I think she's been doing very well, as well as Connie. Yeah. We have seen big fragger, big solo fraggers uh, so far in this game. Uh, but, mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of got, it's just gone back and forth. It's like a seesaw. Uh, <laughs> and Pentadivina Victoria opening in this round, they'll be able to tim tilt it back the other way. Uh, whereas uh, Team Queen just looking to kind of try and keep control. We're trying something different, and I appreciate that here. Um, <laughs> you tend to be Victoria. So I'm surprised they're going for 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 gym bedroom. I mean, it's obviously better than bar stock. I would hope that nobody ever chooses to play bar stock, unless absolutely necessary. But you know, it might work out. You know, try something new, try something unexpected. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be hard regardless of what site you go to here so at least just going for something different might give you an opportunity to catch i mean team queen off guard I mean, that's the most important thing here do you see them heading straight towards that top hatch and let's go through there luna again trying to find these cheating angles uh, to open on up as shadow will open up the window maybe they're looking to plant here on b imagine they're probably just going to try and open up as many lines of sight as possible uh, maintain control of uh, cash CCTV and then go for a, a default uh, bedroom push. I would, I would imagine that would be my kind of play here. Opening up Jacuzzi Wall if possible. She's going to have no issue with that. That is really nice for Amir. Uh, giving the clearance for the Thermite. Go pop that down. No bandit tricking for you, Tippy. Uh, sorry, not Tippy. Uh, sorry, Tina. <laughs> um, and now with this, they can just move on in. They can take so much control. Uh, the frag does go down, takes oh. Tina down to the floor. The plant is going through for Shishka, and this is fantastic for Team Queen. An explosive start to this fight, potentially final round. That is absolutely fantastic position to be in for a post plant. Tina getting revived by the uh, Vigil and Cody. Yeah, I mean, 
picking up kills left, right, and center. Do you see some frags back? And it is even, but the time is ticking. You've only got half of the diffuser left. Mia, finding the pick onto Issa is pretty much seeing the deal. Tiffy is way too far away. Connie doesn't even find a kill, and one remaining player in Eva. It ain't enough. And seven to four, Team Queen taking Clubhouse. I mean, they got close. They took four rounds. It was impressive, but not quite enough. I think that was a surprise for anyone watching. I feel like majority of people watching this should be surprised. Uh, the fact that Team Queen were beaten in four rounds, I believe it was, or was it? Was it our... Uh... Yeah, it was four rounds. Yeah. Ab absolutely insane. Uh, good effort by Davina Victoria. They gave it a good shot. They gave it the best of their abilities. And yeah, but, but unfortunately, that wasn't quite enough. Uh, and it's sad to see them lose in such a manner, losing six straight rounds uh, like that. But that's the way the cookie crumbles at the end of the day. And uh, Penta Divina Victoria you sh definitely shouldn't be embarrassed about their showing. They, they, they showed up here. Uh, so kudos to them. Yeah, I imagine anybody watching over this game will say, hey, uh, I, I can't believe that that ended up. I, I can't believe that that score w was achieved by Divina. I think that's a success in, in of itself. You didn't want to. Yeah, that was, a, that was <clears throat> very interesting to say the least, but I, I can't stress enough, as you guys are saying, kudos to Penta Divina. They really put up a good effort there, especially considering their best play was on offense. Now, when we flipped it, yeah, you know, Team Queen came in and they put up some pretty impressive offensive rounds as well, including back-to-back -back flawless rounds with plants, uh, everything like that. But this is something that Pender Davina, I think, can can hold their heads up high walking away from this one. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. I just have to ask, though, what, where do you think this comes from? Why why is it that Pender Davina was able to do well on offense and then not able to hold it together on defense when they flip to a defensive side or flip to defense on a defensive side of the map? I mean, I mean, the thing is here, right, is Team Queen were kind of constrained by that. You could put more pressure on Connie to perform um, when you were playing on that attack um, for uh, Penta Divina. When you move to defense, that isn't quite there. Um, and Team Queen can use their full might in a different way. Um, you can pick at the edges. You get the drones. You get all that vision, which they are very adept at using as well. So I, I do think Team Queen just kind of also mentally reset, went, all right. You've messed up a little bit. From here on out, we'll sit and we'll chill and we'll do what we do. And they took control of the game. And that's the kind of class you expect from a top level team. Uh, one other interesting thing to note, uh, maybe you can touch on this, Frazier, is, yep. I mean, Connie was involved in every single, what seemed like every single opening kill, whether it was herself doing the killing or being killed, although I, I will give her credit, the majority of the time it was her with the opening kill. I think she must have had four or five opening kills. I, I'm not sure of the exact numbers, uh, but pretty impressive. How important is being involved in that that first play? You know, I think it's very important to note that Corey was absolutely crucial and vital to Davina Victoria's uh, victory there and their, their success throughout the rounds. Um, and, and the rounds that they won, I feel like if it was another player uh, and, and her stead, potentially it wouldn't have worked out. I feel like she was able to um, play as aggressive as she needed to, and she got the kills. She got it done. Um, potentially, if it was another player, I don't think it would have worked out as well. Definitely. Well, I mean, that was a fantastic match. I think Penta Divina gave us way more of a show than we were expecting that we were going to have. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, good on them for that. Uh, stay tuned, though. We're going to flip to a quick break, and then we'll be back with another great match of Hellside versus Team... T sorry, Titanium Cloud Esports. My apologies. Another tight one. Seventh seed going up against eighth seed. Another do-or-die match for both teams. Stick around. We'll be back in just a few minutes. <laughs> 